I'm here just with a monthly update for the month of April. Um, I'm the share maker here in Guildtown with um, Saturn Farms. Just, uh, I suppose, uh, a bit about myself. I'm um, originally from a suckler and arable background. Um, my father has a farm a couple of miles from here, where I would have grown up. Um, I then went to England for five years. I worked on a 600 cow high yielding herd over there doing um, cows have been doing about 12, 12 and a half thousand litres a year. Um, and then after four or five years over there, I was looking for an opportunity to, where I could come back to Ireland to farm uh, in Ireland and, and I suppose go farm of my own right. Um, so through that journey of looking, um, I, I met Bill uh, and, and that's three years ago then I, I joined, um, originally joined Owen's team in Griffinstown. Um, and then this is my second year here in, in Guildtown. Um, so yeah, just I suppose what's gone on here on the farm over the last month. Uh, we've got the last tail end of the cows calving, and um, there's about 15 or 20 there left. Um, so the, the end is, is, is nearly there. Um, at the minute, we're, we've just finished our first round. Um, as you can see, I'm standing on a bunker of zero graze grass. Um, so cows are uh, coming in on this tonight. We're, we're, we're probably a little, where we are a little bit uh, short of, of of grass going into our second round so we're, we're push, trying to push out the rotation length um, by bringing in zero graze grass from the societage blocks uh, so far it's worked very well it's held milk um, milk has stayed up uh, which with if we used pit silage or whatever it, it would have would definitely dropped and um, so it's we're maintaining a um, 1.8 kilos of milk solids on two kilos of meal in the parlor by by doing it this way and I suppose, look, it's, it's feed that's grown on farm rather than buying it in in a, in a, in a meal lorry, so it's, it's, it's cheaper on that front. Um, I suppose that's been I suppose, a major challenge over the last couple of weeks is grass. Uh, we've grown a lot. Our average farm cover is sitting at about 7.50 um, or maybe a little bit below it, but uh, it's, it's the, the grass has grown in the first couple of paddocks hasn't been, hasn't been what we expected. So pre-grazed covers are a little bit low going into second round. Um, so hopefully by, by, by doing what we're doing here, um, we can push that out by a couple of days. Um, and I suppose next year we'll probably look at starting second round at, a, at about the, the 10th of April instead of, instead of earlier. Um, the month, month so far of, of has gone very well. We've had no mastitis. Uh, cell count is, is, is very good. And cows are, are starting to come bulling. So we're, we're, I suppose the focus is now on, on breeding. Um, we'll be tail painting cows in, in um, maybe two weeks time and uh, then we'll, we'll be starting AI fairly soon so yeah I suppose the focus has changed from calving to breeding um, and we've, we've certainly the calf sheds are, are looking empty again um, the beef calves are more or less all gone there's probably another 10 to go um, and then we've our heifer calves there so we'll, we'll be keeping them for another while until they're weaned and then they'll go to a contract rearer um, so yeah I suppose that's, that's more or less kind of what's gone on going on in the farm right now um, and yeah, shall I see you next month.